Welcome back to Geek's Guide to Starbound, and would you like to know what we're going to do today? No, I don't care about software updates. We are going to summon the Tier 1 boss. Yep, and to do this, we are going to require... Not fine sand, because that won't work. Dirt. And if I can find it... Okay, we're going to need to craft something. Where are you? Perfect. Platform. And I think what I'm going to do with Starbound from now on is I'm not going to do as much off-camera work as I usually do. Because we're already... This is only episode 4, and um, we're about to beat the Tier 1 boss already. So I think... I probably should maybe slow down a bit. Either way, that that was my campsite that I was using. And we gotta... Oh, by the way, I upgraded my pickaxe to a gold pickaxe, so that's pretty sweet. Those monsters are friendly, so we don't have to worry. Alright, do 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 wood. I'm going to show you how you build the best um, anti-penguin penguin space pirate defense system ever. Using nothing but a bunch of dirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my thing is being stupid. Okay, so... Pass underneath that. Good. Make sure you make it a level at which you can pass underneath it. Because that's really going to help. Yeah, dig. Dig faster. Alright. Right now we get on top and we make it a certain I think this distance is probably good enough. And then you need to make a little perch. Like so. Perfect. And make sure you make a wall of the equal height on the other side. Yeah, you can make it on the one side if you want. It doesn't matter which side you make it on. Yeah, it doesn't need to look the best, just so you can... It's all about function, this thing is. Perfect. Now we need these. Drop. Alright. Alright, alright, perfect. No, I really. Oh, I took seven fall damage. Perfect. Alright, so. Who is. Are you guys ready to rumble? You guys ready to rumble? Alright, we, we need to get in our appropriate gear. Alright, are we going to do this knight style? Or are we going to do this waffle iron see the British biker robot style? Aw oh, yeah, I knew you would say British biker robot style, because that is more us. Yeah. Alright, so. You guys ready? One, two, three, go. See, this is why you do it like this. So you can just sit up here and hit it. Oh, dang. I forgot about this. Hmm. Um. Yeah. 
Dang penguins. See, penguins aren't cute. They're evil. Come on. You know where I'm at. Yeah, we're going to use our heavier axe. Okay, maybe this isn't the perfect design. Wow, it's already seven minutes in. Why a quick boss fight? Oh my goodness. We're so close to killing him. Yeah. No, no healing devices? Bread, bread. Perfect. Sleep, 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 sleep. Yes, we've won. We've won. We've won. <laughs> we are victorious. Robots win the day. <laughs> All right. We got our molten core and Dreadwing the Penguin. Let's take a look at the new codex. All right, read selected. Gather round and let us speak of Dreadwing the Pirate. This foul bird, once posed as a glitch king, went toe to toe with a foreign, out wrestled an apex, out flew an avian, and out drank a human, human, and out patronized a hylodo. Go. He's the self-confessed scourge of the galaxy and cannot wait for the day when the rest of the universe notices. His latest plan is as fiendish as it is simple: distress beacons. Curious explorers and pesky do-gooders can't resist the call for help. Then, as soon as they make contact, he's there in one of his many custom UFOs, an army of angry penguins in tow. Nobody really knows what Dreadwing gains from these attacks. Analysis estimate that the destruction of UFOs must be costing Dreadwing hundreds of thousands of pixels, and yet he persists, smashing his way through settlements and blowing up camps until eventually he's chased off tail feathers between his legs. Fun Dreadwing fact, Dreadwing's early UFO design did not allow him to destroy terrain, thus leaving him vulnerable to adventurers who hid themselves below the ground. Yeah, which explains some of the earlier versions of Starbound in which he didn't, the boss didn't uh, smash terrain, which is kind of a pain now. So... Yeah, we got some stuff to do. Alright, let us beam up. I hope we can get everything done in six minutes. I think we can. Alright, first of all, we're going to need you, Anvil. And we are going to make the metal workstation, which is going to be important. Where did it, where did it go? Where do you go, metal workstation? Hold on. Uh, I'm being a dirt. No. Uh, why don't you let me put it? 
There we go. Perfect. Then we are going to set up to go star map upgrade. What are we missing? Pixels. Oh, it's a bunch of bunk. Hold on, I'll be back when we're ready. Alright, well, welcome back after a whole bunch of <clears throat> mining and killing and stuff. We can finally make the star map upgrade. Now, what we will do, what, how you use this, so to speak, is you just do that. Alright, better do some preparations. All right. Um, this place looks fine. Yeah. Sure, why not? All right, off we go to the beta sector. What? No, I'm still recording. I didn't realize. Either way, let's look at all this. We can make steel. We can make spawners. We can make a steel hunting bow. We're gonna need that. Do we do silver? We need more pixels though. So. Oh, so that's level two. Huh. Okay, well. Um. Hmm. some more stuff. And time to make some steel. How much steel can I make? 150 steel. Well, I say this might be a... Oh, I can make weapons. Yay. Nudge. Um, steel forger upgrade. Oh, okay. I want steel forger and upgrade 1.0. Now we will equip these new items. Perfect, and we will throw these rejects in here. Ha! Huh. Oh, yeah, look at this new sword. This. Things. Whoa. Oh, that's one.